Hi everybody, I'm Leah of CJ Drill and today we're going to be snaking out a drain in a bathtub and we're going to be using this tool right here. Now come on in close because I'm going to show you how it operates. Now the first thing I want to say is you need to wear gloves because even though it's a bathtub you'll be very surprised of what comes out of that drain and it can be a messy job. Now the cable here there's 25 feet of cable in this drum here all right and you'll need to feed the cable you'll need to feed the cable out and the way you do that is this collar this collar once it's extended it allows you to feed the cable freely all right now when you pull back on the collar like so pull back on that collar that cable is locked right Another feature is, if you come in here and see, we have a, a trigger here and it's got a forwards and backwards lever. Now forward, obviously, you want to pull the trigger and drive the auger forward to retrieve the blockage, okay? And then we want to pull the blockage out of the drain and then you're going to want to put it on reverse and that's going to pull the cable back. So we're going to really use this thing because I have a slow drain in the house and this is the perfect tool for it. Let's get going. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove this plate. And this plate covers what's called the overflow. And that's where we're going to insert the snake. You don't want to come in at the drain, you want to come in at the overflow. And once you get it out far enough, you just do it by hand. and then just remove the plate. Okay, so we've got our electric drain auger. Don't be intimidated by this piece of machinery because it's pretty simple, okay? And I'm gonna talk you through it. The only thing you have to worry about is the fact that it's kinda heavy, it's clunky, but other than that, it'll be a breeze. You can rent these tools at any home improvement store, where usually a good hardware store will cover them as well. Now the way it works is you pull the trigger just like a drill, Okay, you, you hold on to the collar and it rotates the cable, which helps to clean out your drain. Okay, now when you want to feed more cable, you let up on this collar here and then you just pull the cable out of the collar. And then when you want to lock it in place, all right, push down on the collar, and what happens is it locks that cable. The cable is locked and that's what you want. You want your cable to be locked when you're pulling the trigger. Okay, so I'm going to take the cable with the barb at the end and I'm going to feed it through overflow. All right, And I'm going to feed the cable through. I'm just pushing, I'm just using my fingers to push the cable down till I meet a little resistance. Okay, I've met a little resistance. Now it comes time to pull up on that collar like I told you to lock the cable so that it rotates. So I'm going to grab the collar here, I'm going to pull up toward me, and then I'm going to pull the trigger on the drain auger. Now it's got a forward and reverse. We want it going forward. What you want to do is you want to push forward as it's spinning, okay? You're feeding cable through that drain. So here we go. I'm going to let up on that collar and I'm going to pull out more cable. All right? And we're going to feed that. That's about five inches of cable and we're going to keep feeding it. Now I'm ready to go. I'm going to pull up on that collar, pull up on it. The cable is locked in place. I'm going to pull the trigger and move the auger forward. All right? And I'm going to keep repeating the process. Now I have to tell you, I met a little resistance there, and I have the feeling that we have met the blockage. Now this drain is just moving slowly, okay? So I'm going to retrieve it and we're going to take a look and see what's at the end. Okay, so there we go.
I'm going to turn on the water over here. Turn it on. And let's look in the drain. So we're all done. Our drain is draining perfectly just the way it should be. And I hope you learned how easy it can be, really, to snake out a drain yourself without calling a plumber. This is Leah saying, I have every confidence that you can do this. See you next time.